Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel on PSC programming using Colossus. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to manage the color of the objects in the visualization. If you follow this video, you will learn how to combine red, blue, and green color with each other and how to apply that value to a specific item in the visualization. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like the video write your comment underneath it and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. This way you will not miss any new video that I publish. Let's get started. To demonstrate how to change the color of an item, an element in the visualization, I have created this simple configuration here. So I have a circle here for which I'm able to change the color. Here you can see that I'm able to change the transparency from zero, which means fully transparent, to 255, which means fully opaque. And then here I have option for changing the color and giving specific values for red, green, and blue colors. And as a combination, I'm able to get almost any color within this range that I want to have. You can see that for each of the main colors, red, green, and blue, I have values from between 0 and 255 and the same thing for the transparency. I'm also able to specify the value here directly by typing it rather than using the slider and that's the case for all of the three colors. So if you watch this video till the end you will learn how to do this on your own in a very simple way. I'm going to show you the underlying code and also the properties that I have for the visualization elements that you see here. You will see that it's not anything difficult or complex, but you need to, to use a specific function and also a specific variables in order to be able to obtain this kind of result. All right, so let me go uh, to the code and also to the properties of the visualization elements and explain you how you can do this on your own. First of all, in the code part, in the variable declaration, I have these six variables. The first two are double word, which are used for the colors, the overall color for feeling and the color for the frame of the object. And the other four variables are in the form of a byte and I'm using them for the red, green, blue, and transparency portion of the color. In the visualization, using each one of these sliders, I'm determining value for one of those elements, for red, using the first one, for green, for blue, and for transparency. And also in the text box here, I'm displaying that value. I'm also able to determine the value directly here by clicking in the text box during the runtime, and I've done it using this input configuration on mouse click and write variable. I'm writing the same variable, and I've determined the minimum and maximum value for that variable. I've done it for all the four portions. So through these sliders or the text box, again, I determine the value for each part of the color, for red, green, blue, and transparency. Then for the circle here, I have the color variable. I'm using it only for the normal state. You can do it for the alarm state, but you need to have a toggle color variable of the form boolean. And then for the frame color, I'm determining that double word frame color variable. For the field color, I'm using this double word field color variable. So visualization part is fairly simple. Then in the code part, you will see that it's also very simple. What we need to have here is basically this function, which is pack bytes to double word. This function is not available at the beginning by default, and to, to be able to have access to, it and to this and use it, you need to add a library, and that library is called the CAA memory. I've explained this in my previous video. You can have a look at it and see how you can install this library into your project and what functionalities are available. But once you add this library to the project, you will be able to find this 
uh, function which is pack bytes to double word it receives four inputs of the form byte of the type byte and then packs them into a single variable which will be a double word in this example i'm using the output both for the feeling and the frame color of the object but obviously you can do separately for feeding and also for the frame that's something that you can do easily by just copying and pasting this and then introducing new variables so coding part you can see that is pretty simple as well the important thing is that you should know how these are combined with each other the order in which the transparency red color green color and blue color are combined and you can get it if by referring to the help of colors if you go to this address or just look for this animating a color display in colors then you will see that here we have the, the values shown in the color variable or color literal so here we have the hexadecimal value first transparency appears then red then green and then blue for each one of those fields we have values from 00 to ff which means that it starts from 0 to 255 by specifying each one of these values separately and then combining them with each other using the packing function we are able to have our color variable i can again log in and show you during the runtime the value that we have for this field color and frame color variables in the hexadecimal form so you have a better understanding of how the different fields that we had there are combined with each other so if i change the transparency you can see the value that we have for the for field color or frame color they are the same we have 80 the rest are zero because we have zero so 128 integer is eight zero hexadecimal if i change this value here if i put it to the final value 255 integer here we have ff similarly for red if i move it to the final value 255 you can see that here we will have ff as the second let's say field of the color for green as i move you can see that there are changes happening you can also see the hexadecimal value shown here for green and similarly for blue so in this way you see that the the way in which the colors are color parts portions are combined in order to form the final color variable is clear okay so that's it for this short video i hope you have enjoyed watching it please try to replicate the project on your own obviously you can program or you can code the change in the color within your code not doing it manually as i'm doing here i just did it for demonstrations or maybe sometimes you can also uh, refer to this approach you may need to change the color manually but as i just mentioned you can do this change of values within your code it could depend on the value of some specific variable for example if a specific situation happens you can have a specific color uh, chosen for the for any item and you can use it for your visualization purposes all right so thank you for watching and see you in another video next time bye for now